In our last video, we created an application using Storyboard's Photoshop import feature, and we set up a multi-screen application that we can navigate through. In this video, what I'd like to do is show you how to create and edit animations using the Record Animation feature and the Animation Timeline Editor. So here we are on the weather screen, and I have two different modes, the current weather and the five-day forecast mode. When I click this button, I'd like to run an animation that hides the current weather, and then the five-day forecast is going to slide out onto the screen. I've gone ahead and created this animation so you can see what I'm talking about. Here I hit the five day forecast and it appears after the other content disappears and the exact same thing to go back to your current weather. So that's the animation we're going to create. So to get started I just hit the record animation button and you can see that I'm recording. Now any changes that I make to the project get recorded as animation steps. So I'm going to change the alpha here so that it just fades out. So I'm going to bring it down to zero until it disappears. And then I'll take the temperature and the weather description, and for those, I'll just slide them to the side um, so they end up behind the current weather icon. And I'm also going to change the background bar here. So I can either just grab it and drag it to adjust the width, or if I go into the properties panel, I can just give it a value of 10 pixels. And when I'm done recording, I just hit the button and give the animation a name, set the frame rate, and hit OK, and it'll show up in my animation timeline view. So on the left, you can see the preview of the control that you're working with. And then beside that is the path of the variable. The variable name's in blue on the end. And then here is the timeline. So I can adjust the time of the default half second. Uh, you just double click this number here and change this to 250. Um, or instead, if you want, you can just click on the bar and it'll bring up a pop-up window. So you can make further edits in here. It'll show you your control the variable you're working with, I'm going to change my start time, how long it lasts, I'll put this to 325 for a quarter second, hit OK and it'll push over. So I'm just going to offset these other two animation steps and this is what my animation looks like in the timeline editor. So I want this button to trigger the animation, so if I right click and do add an action, I can say on a press event, I want an animation and I select the name of my animation and then just hit finish and that action's been added to run the animation when we simulate the project. So I'm just going to go up to the top of the screen and hit the simulate icon. When I do, it's going to ask me if I want to save the project, so I will. And now Storyboard Engine is going to launch the app, and we'll take a look at the animation. So I'll just go to the weather screen here, hit 5-day forecast, and everything worked as expected. Now I want to add a toggle to this animation, where the 5-day forecast flips to the current weather button. So Here's the button for 5-day. On my other layer, I've got the current weather button. And what I can do is if I select both controls, both buttons, um, I can right click, go to add, and at the bottom there's animation variable. So I can add two variables to the show 5-day animation. I'm looking for the GRD hidden. If I don't see it, I can click show all variables. And the GRD hidden variable is the visibility vari variable. So if I add these, if I just click finish, it'll end up in the animation for show 5 day. And these are two data changes at the bottom. For the current weather, I'm going to change its hiding. Um, just double click this from on because we can't see it. And if I switch it to off, we will be able to see it. So when we run it, its visibility gets switched. And for this one here, the 5 day forecast, we want to change it from off to on. So now I've got this image swap when we run this animation. So let's simulate again and take a look at the button toggle when we run the animation. So storyboard engine will go over the weather screen, hit 5 day forecast, and it'll flip to current weather while the other content disappears. So our animation's about halfway done. We're hiding the current weather. And now what we need to do is show the 5 day forecast. And I've already gone ahead and recorded that. Very simple, just from left to right, Monday to Friday, slide out, kind of one at a time. And what I need to do is set up a trigger event to run this animation. So at the application level, if I right click and add an action, I want my trigger event to be the completion of an animation. So when show five day animations done running, it's going to trigger another animation. Um, so I'll select animation as my action type and the new animation, Monday to Friday, is what that's going to be. So one's going to run, it's going to trigger the next one, and um, then they're being tied together. So I'm going to simulate, and we'll go to the weather screen. 
When I hit five day forecast, it'll run the first animation, trigger the next one. In our next video, we're going to start working on the thermostat and add some more functionality to the application with Storyboard's integration with Lua. We'll adjust the temperature using Lua with these plus and minus controls and adjust the temperature bar as well. So now we know how to create a new animation using the record animation feature. We can then edit and fine tune your animations using the timeline editor, add animation variables to existing animations, and use the animation complete as a trigger event in your application. Working with animations is quick and easy to do, and it can also add a lot to your project. Thanks for watching.